Let's to go for gold is tonight's host, Amy Conroy, of the Paralympic GB wheelchair basketball team. Ho! Oh. My night tonight is going to be aiming for class, possibly just missing it, scramble a bod job into excellence. Someone hoping he's scored a slam dunk is last night's host, aviation enthusiast and Channel 4 presenter Arthur Williams. Last night we saw gold medals and world records. No, not yet you haven't. He served up dishes from around the world, including a boozy Swiss fondue. The wine separated a little bit, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, all I tasted was alcohol. I know, me too. <laughs> That's, right, isn't it? That's good. I certainly didn't disappoint myself. And it wasn't only a great night that was pulled off. There's been something I've been wanting to do all night. I'm scared. Quick. <laughs> Goes without saying that my night was definitely first class. Night two host and member of the Paralympic GB judo team, Chris Skelly, hit the high notes with his singing. You can dance. You can just having the time of my life. My night was really good. Um, I've really enjoyed entertaining them and um, hearing about everyone's stories. And it was really nice ending off with karaoke. And his spaghetti carbonara was also a hit. Chris, this is absolutely delicious. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but night one host dressage gold medalist Natasha Baker wasn't so sure. Overall, I did actually prefer Arthur's night. Sorry, Chris. And with her night still to come, swimming legend and motivational speaker Liz Johnson thinks the competition is still wide open. I made the ice cream as well. There's danger from everywhere. The three that have been already have been so good in different ways, so I don't think there's much to separate anybody at this stage. Well, there's nothing separating Natasha and Arthur, who are currently in joint first place. So what's everyone expecting from Amy's night? Uh, we're not had much meaty things yet, because I think it's, they're quite difficult to cook for people, I think. A nice steak, perhaps, or something a bit more hearty, I think, like a, maybe a good proper pie with some nice veg. Two things that make a good dinner party are food and fun, and she's going to have both of them. It's been a very carb-heavy week this week, so it would be quite nice to have some vegetables. Well, the starter is a vegetable. It's a loaded potato skin. It's not dinner party food, perhaps, but Amy doesn't strike me as the type of gal that goes, you know, overboard. She just likes her home comforts, and that's nailed it, I think. My score is resting on these babies. That's a lot of pressure on some spuds. I'm pretty sure you have to fork them, because can't potatoes explode? Unless it's one of those myth things that everyone says, like carrots make you see in the dark, something like that. Might take the chance, though, eh? On goes a drizzle of oil. I'm not going to lie, I don't normally go for loaded potatoes, like, in a restaurant. Chicken wings are better, but they're not as impressive. So with these, I'm out to impress. And who wouldn't be impressed with tatties like those? Sounds really nice. Can't wait to see what it's loaded with. The middles are carefully scooped out and then simply abandoned. Chris's stuffed mushrooms were very good, very good. But mushrooms? Potatoes. Carbs. Carbs always went out, didn't they? I'm hoping that the loaded potato skins are filled with cheese, mushroom, bacon. Actually, I can pretty much eat anything in a potato skin, so I'm excited. Just excited? Be prepared to go wild as Amy's pulling out all the stops. I think the classic is bacon and cheese. Um, so I just thought I'd add chorizo in as well, because can't have too much meat in there. Finally, bacon and chorizo are plonked in. They'll be reheated when her guests arrive. Hopefully, the, um, the costumes will deflect from the starter. Um, Good luck with that. Keep the cheese coming. I've never really made starters before, and I just thought, you know, bacon good, chorizo good, cheese good. You know, how can it go wrong? Is that like a good amount of cheese? The mess is now hidden. Genius. Well, sort of. And you can't hide it in the oven forever. Anything can be salvaged with a bit of melted cheese. Anything. They give off the slight aura of someone who doesn't really know what they're doing, don't they? <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure that dollop of cream will help. This is purely for aesthetic purposes. I don't think they taste very good. It just makes me look like I know I'm doing a bit more, doesn't it? Well, a final garnish to really bring out its natural beauty, and there you have it. A loaded potato skin, singular, with chorizo, bacon and melted cheese. Wait wow. Oh, thank mm. you. You get the biggest. Yeah. You get the biggest. Mm. 
Thank you very much. Loaded potato, loaded with um, chorizo, bacon, cheese, sour cream, scallions, just for fanciness. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy, please. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think it's really nice. Mm. It's very tasty. I love the chorizo. Mm. Good addition. I thought that it maybe it would have come with something like a bit of salad on the side. Or possibly the other half. But it tasted really good, and that's what it's about, right? Well, if you say so. I think all your nights were just so good that I was just um, quite worried, was all. <clears throat> I think you're being unnecessarily yeah. over self-critical. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I have to say mine was cold. The dress code tonight was historical heroes, because it's different, and there was room for scope and personality. Um, did anyone have, like, a reason behind their choice? So, I came as Audrey Hepburn because she's pretty glamorous and I like glamour. Um, and also, she was the first female actress to win awards. Not sure that's true. And she was a great humanitarian, so I just thought that Sweet would be work. a good fit. Good choice. So, I chose Albert Einstein because he was a physicist and physics make up quite a big bit of how I managed to fly. Yeah, I appreciate that I might look like an old Harry Potter. Uh, but uh, I can assure you, I'm Einstein. Now the question on everyone's lips. What's with the hat, Chris? I'll be honest, uh, I couldn't find a brief. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, second of all, um, I had 20 seconds to think of a Roman person, and a person who came with Julian Caesar. Chris's outfit is diverse. Um, wasn't quite sure about the cowboy hat. Julian <laughs> Caesar was the one, I think it was right, who he came up with the month's July. I prefer the original name, Quintilis. It is like listening to a history professor. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sat with a cowboy hat, sunglasses and in the Roman gear. <laughs> and in New Yorkshire accent. Veni, vidi, chuffin, vici. That's the start of Done and Dusted and a surprising success. People said it was all right, but they are lovely people, so... <laughs> it was all right, could have been worse. <laughs>